Could I be any more excited about this episode of Ripley's Rewind? This is the one where I tell you about the Rachel. <clears throat> I laughed, sorry. From Central Perk to Bloomingdale's, Rachel Green rocked the most iconic outfits, uttered the most quotable lines, and gave television perhaps the best hairdo it has ever seen. Debuting in Season 1, Episode 20 of the NBC sitcom Friends, the Rachel gave women of the 90s a new, bouncy, perfectly layered look for their hair. But as effortless as Queen Jennifer Aniston makes it look, the Rachel was actually near impossible to replicate. If you're anything like me, you can likely quote all 236 episodes of Friends start to finish. Chandla Bing. Oh. My. God. Me? I'm fine. How you doing? But for anyone unfamiliar with the show, Friends was a 10-season sitcom featuring six friends living in New York City. Centered around relationships, careers, humor, and the simply mundane parts of life, its relatability made it a huge hit for NBC. Over the course of 10 years, Friends was nominated for 62 Primetime Emmy Awards, with five of the six main characters receiving Emmy nominations as well. Sorry, Monica. Rachel Green, played by Jennifer Aniston, enters the pilot episode as a runaway bride seeking her high school bestie, Monica Geller. Eventually, the two become roommates, and the rest is history. Throughout the show, Rachel goes through many phases of growth in her closet, her relationships, and her iconic brunette do. In fact, Jen's winning Emmy was for her performance as this developing character. The most notable look to come from her hair transformations is what's now known as the Rachel. In the show's 20th episode, Rachel Green enters the scene sporting a choppy, layered, effortless look. And from that moment on, women everywhere rushed to the local salon to try out Jen's new do for themselves. What they didn't know, however, is just how difficult this style would be to replicate. The man behind the look is celebrity stylist Chris McMillan. Courtney Cox, who plays Monica Geller on the show, had recently gotten a haircut from Chris after filming Ace Ventura Pet Detective. After seeing the magic he worked on Courtney's hair, Jen's manager asked Chris to give the future Rachel Green a brand new do before the pilot of Friends. Chris told Behind the Chair, she had bangs I thought she should grow out. I brought up the length to make the bangs seem longer. Then I pulled her hair over so she didn't look like she had bangs, and the layers started falling forward. Little did he know that something so simple would become a trending 90s phenomenon. As the show gained more traction, magazine covers everywhere were plastered with the cast and Jen's new do. Women were rushing from the newsstands to the salon chairs with their copy of the TV Guide for reference to The Rachel. But to their dismay, what many of these ladies quickly learned was that unless you had Chris McMillan in your back pocket, your Rachel was not going to be nearly as perfect as Jen's. This seemingly effortless look actually required a lot more TLC than advertised in The Purple Apartment which, by the way, would cost you $2.2 million to live in today. <clears throat> Despite all the headaches the Rachel caused Jen, the result of her new look was nothing short of revolutionary when it came to the world of hair and television. Since that first 1994 season of Friends, plenty of other celebrities have tested the waters with their own take on the Rachel. Meg Ryan, Tyra Banks, Kelly Clarkson, and Jessica Alba all dabbled in the art of Rachel Green's look. And while it's a prime example of the influence celebrities have on the newest trends and styles, a few other nostalgic hairdos have also taken the world by storm. Remember that time Justin Timberlake had ramen noodle hair, aka bleached blonde frosted tips? Before hair color was mainstream for men, JT basically paved the way for males in the chair. Paired with his curly fro, guy lights were a thing of the boy band days. Before we knew it, Mark McGrath, Nick Lachey, and Aaron Carter joined the party as well. But what would a hair revolution be without the mullet? The term mullet was actually coined by the Beastie Boys back in 1994. Who would have thought? The Beastie Boys. And since then, John Stamos, Billy Ray Cyrus, Patrick Swayze, and plenty of others have rocked the classic Kentucky waterfall. Short on top, long in the back, the mullet isn't everyone's cup of tea, but believe it or not, the look is seemingly making a present day comeback. Stars like Miley Cyrus and Rihanna have recently posted about their new do's resembling this party in the back aesthetic. Does this mean Billy Ray gets his mullet back? Lastly, a total juxtaposition to the sleek Rachel 
Carrie Bradshaw certainly showed the world the beauty of a good perm. A fashion icon to this day, Sarah Jessica Parker has been rocking the scrunchie and perm look since she was just 15 years old. Her 80s do launch the trend-setting texture of perms everywhere, even though perms have actually been around since 1872. It's kind of crazy to think about how one simple cut can become a pop culture icon for the ages. It's actually kick you in the crotch, spit on your neck fantastic. It really makes you wonder what trends will come back around and when we can expect to see them again. Are you on board for the return of the mullet? Does the Rachel still hold up as the must-have do from the 90s? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're loving all the throwback vibes of this episode, be sure to pivot on over to the like, subscribe, or follow button. I promise there's plenty more weird to unpack from the boy band ages and beyond. I'm Steph DeSazio, and we will see you next time here on Ripley's Rewind.